His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales were accompanied by the son of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and met with a number of young Bahraini leaders at Bahrain National Museum as their Royal Highnesses inspected the successful projects endorsed by Tam Keen. The Crown Prince affirmed the importance of investing in Bahraini youth in order to prepare them to become future leaders who contribute to the achievements of the kingdom. He said that the National March, under the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which aims to strengthen the pillars of sustainable development, has embraced programs and policies that provide the youth with knowledge and abilities that will broaden their horizons. His Royal Highness noted Tam Keen as one of the vital institutions that supports entrepreneurs and the youth in their endeavours to create new opportunities. He stated that it has resulted in a number of success stories that continue to grow and evolve. The meeting was attended by a number of participants of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's International Scholarships Programme, the First Deputy Premier's Programme to develop national cadres, the John Smith Programme, the Windsor Programme and UK University graduates. He expressed pride in the youth for taking part in those programmes and for proving their ability to overcome obstacles and succeed in a way that would enable them to contribute to the Kingdom's national march. The visit to the museum included a tour of the Bahraini British Aviation Timeline Exhibition, which features the legendary Second World War aircraft, the Supermarine Spitfire. Supported by Air Defence Systems Company, BAE, and the Royal Air Force Museum in the UK, the historic aircraft was transported to the museum on the initiative of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, the BACA, to mark the 200th anniversary of Bahraini British relations. Present during the exhibition were the Education Minister. Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Nuaimi and BACA President Sheikh Ameh bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. The Royal Highnesses, the Crown Prince and the Prince of Wales also reviewed a workshop held for Bahraini students in science, technology, engineering and maths on the sidelines of the Spitfire exhibition.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at Gudabiya Palace today, Huawei Deputy Chairman of the Board, CEO Guo Ping. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince affirmed reinforcing the role of information and telecommunications sector and developing it as a supporting pillar to the comprehensive development plan. His Royal Highness highlighted the efforts made by national cadres in developing this sector, which has resulted in attracting investment that has led to greater achievements. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince hailed the contributions of Huawei in developing communication networks in Bahrain through its partnership with telecom service providers, adding that this cooperation makes the communication sector one of the biggest sectors that provide job opportunities for Bahrainis. His Royal Highness also reviewed the achievements made by Huawei at both regional and international levels and his plans to expand into global markets through modern and innovative technologies. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished the company further success and prosperity. For his part, Huawei Deputy Chairman of the Board Rotating CEO expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his support to the company, highlighting Bahrain's developments in the telecommunications sector and wishing it further success. Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women and in the presence of a number of senior officials and members of the Supreme Council for Women, welcomed Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cornwall on the occasion of her visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain as part of a sequence of continuous mutual visits between the two countries emanating from the close Bahraini-British relations that stretch back more than 200 years in history. A reception was held in honour of the country's guest at the headquarters of the Council, during which Her Royal Highness the Duchess viewed the efforts of the Kingdom in terms of the progress of Bahraini women, who in turn managed through her national participation to engage in all areas of national work and have accomplished many achievements that have allowed women to participate with their equivalents at an international level. The reception commenced with Her Royal Highness, the President of the Supreme Council for Women, welcoming Her Royal Highness, the Duchess of Cornwall, praising the bond between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom, which results from historical ties of friendship based on a strong foundation of mutual understanding and respect. A wealth of recorded cooperation is marked by the exchange of structured experiences that have resulted in various programmes and joint ventures. Her Royal Highness has ensured the importance of maintaining the depth of those relationships and the development of areas of cooperation and coordination, especially on the level of exchange of expertise in the field of women's affairs that benefit and develop female-orientated services and empowering programs, as well as the development of life and career capabilities whilst preserving family stability and maintaining the pace of contributions to public life. The country's guest witnessed a visual presentation that observes the gradual history of the participation of Bahraini women in national development, which began with the advent of education in the 1920s, followed by leadership in the field of nursing during the 1940s, and the practice of women's rights as an official voter during the central municipal elections in the 1950s. The presentation also explained the beginning of the entry of women into the field of banking in the late 50s and highlighted their work in the military sphere in the early 70s, as well as their participation in sports within that timescale. The Duchess of Cornwall also observed the statistics measuring the status and participation of Bahraini women in several areas in decision-making as a functional factor within the development of the national production, where their presence in public service jobs and the Civil Service Bureau has reached 53%. The percentage of their presence in senior management positions in the public sector has now reached 45%, with Bahraini women owning 40% of active individual business records. Bahraini women also amount to 33% of the private sector. Furthermore, Bahraini women have a remarkable presence in the field of medical work, engineering, legislation, military, culture, media sports, civil work and international participation. In addition, the reception involved a gathering that joined the country's guest with a variety of groups of women from different sectors of which the Duchess of Cornwall is introduced closely to achievements that reflect what Bahraini women have actually been able to achieve. Her Royal Highness was also introduced to a number of graduates from the Business Women's Incubator Centre, that's Riyadat, and what administrative training and advisory services this economic incubator offers to entrepreneurs. The Duchess also heard the graduates' stories 
of success in entering the free labour market and the further success of some in entering the global market. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Supreme Committee for Financial Cooperation and Coordination, headed the delegation of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the first meeting of the GCC Financial and Economic Affairs Council in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The meeting was held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Saudi Deputy Crown Prince, Second Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defence, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed his sincere gratitude and appreciation to the leaders of GCC states for advising to form the council, which he said would be a supporting means to joint GCC economic and development endeavours. The meeting discussed the points on the agenda which was highlighted by the internal regulations of the Council's work to facilitate the issuance of necessary decisions. The organisational structure of the Council and the work mechanism of the GCC cooperative markets with the Customs Union. In addition, the meeting discussed economic priorities and development cases related to GCC countries. Also, value-added tax agreements, selective goods, diversity of income sources due to decline of oil prices. Committee of Central Bank's environment topics and social affairs were also discussed. His Highness stressed that the first meeting of the Supreme Council for GCC Economic Development Affairs was fruitful, in which many important points in favour of improving the Gulf economy were discussed, according to the vision of their Majesties and Highnesses of the GCC. He also affirmed that the forming of the Council is very important to promote cooperation in Gulf countries to work for economic and development fields, in addition to looking into policy, studies and programmes that aim to encourage cooperation and coordination between between the countries as well as monitoring the implementation of decisions and agreements related to GCC's economic development. His Highness pointed out that the Gulf states have called too quickly to implement the requirements due to the challenging developments the GCC countries are currently facing and to work on establishing an economic Gulf bloc which will power new projects and offer speed in dealing with various GCC developments. His Highness added that the Supreme Council for GCC Economic and Development Affairs supports the joint GCC economic decision and its implementation, especially during the existing economic challenges witnessed by the region. He also pointed out that the Council would stimulate economic activity in GCC countries and contribute in creating job opportunities in them, enhancing their performance and placing GCC countries amongst the leading economic coalitions in the world. <laughs> 